So exactly a year ago, March last year, Assemblymember Fortune asked you about the claim that you have made repeatedly that the poorest Londoners do not own cars. And that exchange between you and him descended into um, acrimony, with you mocking him for the very idea that the poorest Londoners uh, might own cars. I've got the transcript here. You, you've said previously that the poorest in London do not own cars. And my, my question is, because I've looked through it, I'm trying to find that data, where do you source that data from? So, so trying to be clear, so you're implying the poorest do own cars? No, I'll ask again, just for your clarity. You've said many times that the poorest in London don't have cars. Implication being that when there's an expanded Euro zone, they won't be impacted by it in right. terms of the financial impact. I'm asking, I've gone to look for that data. I'm struggling to find that data. Where do you get that data from? Well, I, I want I, to understand I, your thinking. I, I am surprised that the member's experience of being an elected politician doesn't lead him to conclude that the poorest Londoners can't afford to own cars. So do you stand by that claim, that statement? I just read the numbers out. 78%, 78% of those who uh, live in our city who earn below uh, £10,000 don't own a car. 87% of those who earn below £10,000... So you're saying the, some of the poorest Londoners do own Inner cars. London Is that don't own a car. 70% uh, in outside London. It's, 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 uh, so we did ask you, or Assemblymember Fortune did ask you for figures which you didn't really send, but helpfully your walking and cycling commissioner um, on the 7th of March tweeted out this very useful and informative chart which shows a breakdown of car ownership by income decile, so that people divided into 10 groups by income, and really helpfully it shows levels of car ownership in central London and in London and outer London, and it's, it's a tale of two cities. Camden, there's 34% car ownership. Hackney, there's 33% car ownership. Islington, there's 32% car ownership. You go to outer London, Bexley, there's 74% car ownership. Bromley, there's 75% car ownership. 75% in Havering, 74% in Kingston-upon-Thames, 77% in Sutton. These are figures from the Centre of London report. So, you, you know, London is different, and that's uh, in different parts of London, and that's a case that's been made over and over again. So when ULES expands out to cover the whole of London, it's not the case, which is the implied suggestion, that not many people out there own cars. It's different. There is a different makeup in outer London to inner London. And what it shows is that the lowest income decile in outer London are more likely to own a car than the highest income decile in inner London. Do you recognise that fact? So in, in outer London, 70% yes. of uh, households who earn below £10,000 don't own a car. And for those between £10,000 and £19,999... OK, so you're just repeating the same figures. The lowest decile, it doesn't have on here. I've, I've chased up with his office for the source of this information, and two weeks on, they've not yet managed to supply it to me for some reason. It's a TfL-branded infographic, so it's uh, clearly official information. What it shows is in the lowest decile, which I don't know what income band that is, but in the lowest decile, the poorest 10% of London is in outer London. A majority of those households own a car, and they are more likely to own a car, even the lowest income decile in outer London, more likely to own a car than the highest income decile in inner London. So this is why your ULES policy has such a different impact on people, has such a different public reaction. You know, do, do you recognise that this picture of a city that is so different, inner versus outer, is something that you didn't really understand a year ago when you were berating Assemblymember Fortune? And do you now recognise that outer London is just very different in this regard? So we've always accepted that our London is uh, different, which is why we're expanding public transport in outer uh, London. We've also had a massive increase in relation to... Uh, it's, I mean, it's not a massive increase in buses. It's a 0.2% increase in buses. You're answering a different question. Do you recognise that in outer London, the poorest Londoners in outer London are more likely to own a car than the wealthiest Londoners in inner London? Well, let me ask the, the previous question first. Before it's you the same question I've asked you repeatedly, well, and you've not answered it. <laughs> So let me ask the, the previous question, which is what, we, what we've always recognised is outer London is different to inner and central London, which is why we've got the massive uh, scrappage scheme. We're increasing public transport in outer London, but you can't escape the fact that 70% uh, of those who earn below £10,000 in outer London don't own a vehicle. So a combination of uh, most vehicles are compliant. Most poorer Londoners who... Uh, 
uh, living out of London don't own a vehicle, but also the scrappage scheme, in addition to increased public transport, supports those very small numbers of people who many support. Okay, the, the facts that you're repeatedly quoting are directly contradicted by your walking and cycling commissioner, but you know, having established that the mayor is out of touch with outer London as usual, I will leave it there, Chair.